Tell me, what could happen to the sun? It's shined on us every day without weekends off or even a holiday for 4.6 billion years. For about as much longer, according to scientists, it will remain in the sky. But let's imagine that suddenly, everything in space went wrong and our star somehow exploded. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, at first hardly anyone would notice this catastrophe. However, would we later understand that something terrible had happened to our star? And just how exactly will this event affect the Earth? To begin with, it's worth mentioning that stars don't just explode for no reason. This usually happens when much more massive stars collapse and turn supernova. Such a situation doesn't threaten our Sun. To turn into a supernova, its mass would have to be at least eight times greater. Nevertheless, our star does change over time. In billions of years, it will slowly start to expand, turning from a yellow dwarf into a red giant. Eventually, our Sun will completely absorb Mercury and Venus. Only none of our descendants will see this. Most likely, the Sun's expansion will not reach the Earth. However, the blazing intensity of our Sun will increase until it becomes 2,730 times greater compared to now. This will happen when the Sun reaches an age of approximately 12 billion years old. By then, most of the Earth's atmosphere will already have been lost into space. From the heat of the Sun, conditions could become similar to those on the exoplanet Korat 7b in the constellation Monoceros, which is located 489 light years from us. The Earth will be complete lava on the day side, and the surface temperature will heat up to 2130 degrees Celsius. That's 3866 Fahrenheit. This, by the way, is higher than the melting point of most known minerals. Of course, under such conditions, no living organism could exist. However, thanks to future technologies, by this time people will probably have been able to find new homes in other star systems. But what if, for some reason, the Sun were to explode right now? After all, we haven't yet reached the planets of other galaxies. Of course, classical astrophysics excludes the possibility of such an event. However, cosmic realities sometimes don't want to follow the usual laws of physics. Now, figuratively speaking, our star is merely smoldering, supporting the necessary conditions for life on Earth. But if its temperature exceeds a certain point, then the whole giant barrel of hydrogen will explode. An unfortunate experiment with our star, for example, would be like striking a match. Scientists have already modeled this situation to learn about the consequences of such a potential explosion. The results showed that our star would not explode like an ordinary bomb. The force of gravity will prevent it from expanding instantly. In such a scenario, at first a simple increase in the temperature of the core of the Sun will cause a huge amount of radiation to flood onto the Earth. Ultraviolet rays will damage our unprotected eyes and also cause skin cancer. During sunlight hours, the temperature will be 50 degrees Celsius or 122 Fahrenheit or higher. It will surely be hard not to notice the changes, and with such heat, no one will be able to leave their homes, if there are any homes left on the planet at all. Terrible hurricanes will arise due to the temperature increase, which will rush at a speed of up to 300 kilometers or 186 miles an hour. They'll sweep away all buildings except perhaps the strongest ones, and they will uproot trees. All ice will inevitably begin to melt, but the hurricanes won't end. Generally, the weather conditions on the planet will barely be survivable for humans. The exception will be the tropical zone, which will become unbearably hot. This will destroy tropical vegetation, dooming hundreds of millions to starvation. As the temperature increases, bodies of water will begin to evaporate. Earth will be shrouded in thick clouds, which will slightly reduce the flow of radiation. However, it will be simply impossible to breathe in such a sauna. 
The temperature will continue to rise until it reaches 60 degrees Celsius or 140 Fahrenheit, or even much higher. However, under any of these scenarios, heat will destroy most living things on the planet. But what if there's some kind of mistake hiding in scientists' calculations? Although the force of gravity will keep our star from instant expansion, a temperature increase in the core will still lead to an explosion. In this case, we'll again have to plunge into even more hellish heat. True, it won't come immediately. Our star is located at a distance of about 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles from the Earth. Light travels this distance in 8 minutes and 40 seconds. So, for a little while after the disaster, we can live in peace. You might even have time to watch our new video while the apocalypse is approaching. The first sign will be difficult not to notice. The sun will become thousands of times brighter than usual. The whole sky will be covered with white fire. It will even be light at night. Most likely, such a fireworks show will be too bright for human eyes, so most people will go blind. If this happens, we'll no longer be able to see the events that are about to unfold three hours after the initial explosion. However, you will surely feel them. The power of this solar blast will be equivalent to the explosion of several octillion nuclear warheads. After that, a stream of hot plasma will flood through space. When it reaches our planet, the temperature will rise sharply. Water from the oceans will evaporate quite quickly. The Earth will turn into something like a giant steam bath in which you would quickly suffocate. Many fires will erupt all over the planet, and extremely powerful storms will fan the flames. The storms will arise due to the temperature difference after the explosion and may exceed a speed of 1,000 kilometers or 620 miles an hour. In other words, the speed of the vortices on Earth will exceed even the infamous hurricanes of Jupiter, which can reach approximately 600 kilometers or 370 miles an hour. Unbelievably strong winds will raise clouds of dust and sand into the atmosphere, triggering monstrous tsunamis. Millions of people will be washed away into the sea, carried away by hurricanes. Many others will be trapped under the rubble of skyscrapers. Perhaps people will try to hide from this onslaught of natural disasters in bunkers, but they will die as well when the sun's red-hot plasma reaches the Earth. If you feel a little hot just imagining this scorching inferno, I suggest you cool down. But not with a can of soda from the fridge. The fact is that according to one hypothesis of scientists, this hellish heat on Earth will be followed by a deadly cold. It's likely that an explosion will not completely destroy the sun, but it will halt its thermonuclear reactions. Thus, the sun will cease to radiate heat and light over time. If the sun goes out, the Earth will freeze, and that quite quickly. To be saved by some miracle, any survivors will have to move deep into the Earth, where it will be warmer than on the surface. But it's unlikely that under such conditions we'll be able to find food and other necessities to last for very long. However, I have another scenario. Having exploded, the sun will cease to hold the planets in place by the force of its gravity. They'll quickly begin to fly around the galaxy like balloons that have been let go into the sky. Earth will also be thrown from its orbit, speeding away from the sun. It may well collide with another planet and smash into a billion pieces, but if it avoids a collision, it will turn into a vagabond planet, traveling endlessly through space and time. By this time, of course, there will most likely be no more people on our planet. But if someone could then look at the Earth from a distance, they would see a charred, lifeless, heavenly body. They would never believe that once it was a blue, fertile planet. However events unfold after the explosion of our sun, the probability is quite high that our world would come to an end. Of course, 
this situation is unlikely to actually happen. Nonetheless, let's not forget that there's still much we don't know about the universe, and it can present us with many surprises. I wouldn't want one of them to affect our star, because without it, life on planet Earth is impossible. We in turn should carefully think about the consequences before conducting any experiments on the Sun. Fortunately, so far, everything is normal with our star. And we can calmly imagine how the explosion of our Sun could affect our planet. What other thoughts do you have on this? Write to me in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell so as not to miss new releases. All oh, the most interesting is yet to come. This is Riddle, signing off. Until next time.